Call the meeting of the City Council to order for Monday evening, December 10th, 2018. Please stand as we salute the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, in liberty and justice for all. And I'd, I'd ask that you remain uh, standing, uh, Councilors. Um, just want to take a couple of um, moments of silence for a couple of people that uh, that have passed. Um, Mr. Fred McDermott, uh, who was a member of the Brockton School Committee, served the people of Ward 3 for a few years, passed away last week, and I believe his, uh, his burial was uh, today. I had the great uh, pleasure of serving with him uh, as a member of the School Committee, and so did Council Fowler as he was mayor at that particular time. So I um, just want to remember him and uh, his service um, to the city of Brockton, and especially to the children. I just also want to just take a moment of silence um, because I think it's only proper to do to also remember the firefighter um, from Worcester, uh, firefighter Roy, who um, lost his um, life yesterday in a tragic situation of performing his duty, as all firefighters and police officers and public safety people do, and it's a mis misfortune. So we'll have a moment of silence for him and for the city of Worcester. Please, thank you. President, you can also take a moment of silence for Jim McCarthy. As you know, Jim McCarthy uh, was a former resident um, on Ash Street. He was on the planning board. He served with Susan DeCastro. And I had the honor of putting him forward to be nominated under Linda Valzotti when she was mayor. He passed away suddenly on Saturday. If we could remember Jim and his wife. Sure. Great people. Thank you, Mr. President. May they all uh, rest in peace. Councilor Monahan is uh, not feeling well. He did contact me earlier. Councilor Azak is uh, the family uh, matter um, in Boston, and I believe Councilor Derencourt is out of uh, town, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that's the reason why the three of them are not uh, present this evening. With that being said, uh, Mr. Clark? We have acceptance of the minutes of the November 26, 2018 Council meeting. Accepted and placed on file. Acceptance of the minutes of December 3, 2018 Special Meeting Tax Levy Hearing. Accepted and placed on file. We have a report of the Audits Committee for its meeting of November 20, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of December 3, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of the Fire Department. Requesting on behalf of the Proctor Fire Department to accept and expend $300 from Firefighters Charitable Foundation, the intended use is in this area of youth education and prevention. These funds will be utilized by our fire, fire education officer to assist in delivering the message of fire safety to the students of Brockton. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police to file. Request an authorization to expend grant money in the amount of $500 related to the Walmart Community Grant awarded the Proctor Police Department on November 16, 2018. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommended the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative. Accepted and placed on file. The communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommending that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $98,465 from the Community IT Grant. The City of Brockton, in conjunction with the Brockton Public School District, intends on expanding the capacity of the Public Safety Network, which is a dedicated fiber network to deliver all things related to public safety. Funding will be used to assist in providing needed upgrades in 10G fiber connectivity and better performance and sta uh, stable stabilization of the switching networks. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO. Accepted and placed on file. Okay. We have an unfinished business, number 13. An honest to establish licensing and regulations for adult use marijuana establishment. Postponed from October 18, 2018, audits meeting. Favorable as amended and council, June 25th, 2018. Ready and referred to the standing committee on audits. That report was favorable as amended. The question is on the amendment. All in favor? Opposed? The question is on passage to a third reading as amended by hand vote. All in favor? 
Passes to a third reading. Order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Baldwin Road, extending from Colgate Road, westerly, and northerly to Vale Street. For that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street away of said city of Brockton in council June 25th, 2018. Reading for the Standing Committee on Finance and Planning. Those reports were favored. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Eight in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Mr. President, make a motion to take items 15 through 17 collectively. Second. Second. Motion be made and seconded. We take 15, 16, and 17 collectively. All in favor? Opposed? We can take them collectively. Read those if you would, Mr. Clark. Order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Boundary Circle extending from Randolph Avenue easterly and northerly to Brookville Avenue. For that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out as a public street by way of City of Brockton. <clears throat> Order that the common necessity and the <coughs> inhabitants of the City of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Braintree Avenue, <coughs> extending from Boundary Circle, westerly and northerly to Brookville Avenue, a distance of about 600.48 feet. And for that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out its public street away for said city of Brockton. <clears throat> Order that the common necessity and convenience of the inhabitants of the city of Brockton require the laying out and acceptance of Vale Street, extending from Norwich Road westerly to Uptown Street, a distance of about 636.65 feet. For that purpose, it is necessary to take an easement for highway purposes and lay out its public street away of city of, of city of Brockton. In City Council, June 25th, 2018, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance Planning. Those reports are favor. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's eight in the affirmative. The orders are adopted. Ordered as amended, the City Council hereby extends the moratorium to prohibit retail stores from operating and preventing any business license to issue in the city of Brockton relative to the sale of recreational marijuana for a finite period. The moratorium shall be extended for a brief period and be in effect through and including January 31, 2019, or until such time as the pending city ordinances for licensing and zoning receive final passage, whichever shall be sued up to ensure the final and proper passage of the pending city ordinance. President. Council Sullivan. I'd like to make a motion that we suspend the rules on acting this tonight, and I'll tell you why. Uh, and, and we have Attorney Resnick. Um, the moratorium that we have in place lawfully voted on lapses at the end of this calendar year. Um, we are meeting next week as an ordinance committee on the 18th. At the last meeting, Mr. May, the city planner told us that the planning board under Mass General Law, they have to meet and give us a recommendation, will not be meeting until January. So uh, Attorney Resnick and I drafted this language. I filed it as a council at large, but more importantly as the chairman of the ordinance. And the hook there is, or sooner. The end of January, it's an extension of one month or sooner. If we can get it done and the planning board gets a recommendation and we can do the three passages and all that stuff, then it will be before the end of January. But the one month in place is a security for the council as a collective body. Thank you. Uh, motion's been made and uh, seconded that we act on this, this item this evening. All in favor of that? Opposed? We're going to suspend the rules and act on it this evening. Um, by a roll call vote, Madam Clerk. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's eight in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. President, Council. Uh, motion for reconsideration hopes it does not prevail. Second. Motion has been made and seconded for reconsideration and hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Thank you. You're welcome, Council. Thank you. The order that the City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of donation, any amount of $300, from Firefighters Charitable Foundation to City of Brockton Fire Department. Referred to finance. I'm going to move uh, suspension of the rules so we can act on this tonight. Motion is made and seconded to suspend the rules and act on this item this evening. All in favor of that? Opposed? We're going to suspend the rules and act on that this evening. Madam Clerk, roll call vote. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? 
Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's eight in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the City Council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds, any amount of $98,465, from Community IT Grant, the City of Brockton, in conjunction with the Brockton Public School Districts, intend on expanding the capacity of the Public Safety Network, which is a dedicated fiber network to deliver all things related to public safety. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Order that the City Council authorize acceptance and expenditure. I'm going to ask that we uh, move suspension of the rules on item 21 as well. Okay. Okay, let him read it. Finish. What is it? The City Council authorizing acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds and the amount of $500 from Walmart Community Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, Walmart Community Grant Fund. These grant funds will be used for Brockton Police Department community outreach supplies. Uh, we, um, yeah, motion's been made and seconded, I believe, to suspend the rules. Has it been made second, and second? Yeah. Motion been made and seconded to suspend the rules and act on this item this evening. All in favor of that? Opposed? We're going to act on this this evening. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's eight in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. So we're going to be left with item number 20, and there are a couple of items left from the last meeting as well for fine. Oh yeah, for <laughs> finance. I will make mention to you. I know you're asking the uh, lady to come from the retirement board, but I also want to. I want the chairman of the retirement board present because she does not work for us. So she. No, my yeah. Oh, no, okay. That's fine. So I'm going to ask him to be president as well. Um, Mr. Clerk, any other? Well, you may want to make the council aware that the next. Council meeting is the 27th. Right. And if they have any questions on that, it's because of 23A of Chapter 39 of the General Laws that states whenever a regular meeting night falls on December 24th, the following December 27th shall be the date of such meeting. The following regular meetings will be held during the year 2018. Right. Okay. So we will we'll be meeting um, the next city council meeting on Thursday, December the 20th. We will have finance meeting next Monday evening here, the 17th, at uh, 7 p.m. So Christmas week, as the clerk just alluded to, you, you cannot meet the next day. You have to meet the day after, which would be the 27th, would be the Thursday. Then you won't meet again as a full council until January 14th, I believe, because it's the second. That's your second Monday, so you're going to have a little uh, little hiatus, but we'll deal with that when we get there. When would the caucus be? The 27th? The 27th would be the caucus. Okay. Right, right. And then I'll just stay over until the meeting in January. Right, exactly. I was going to mention at that time, too, we'll go for the placement of seating in hopes that the first of the year will be in the council. Well, I'm, I'm going to make, I'm just going to say as council president, I don't know why we have to change seating. We never sat in the seats that we ever had. Well, I, I don't care. <laughs> That's up for the council. I mean, I you know, and maybe... Moses doesn't want to sit next to me anymore. But I'm just saying, the seats you're here, we never sat in them in the, in the council chambers. Well, I know, we but you know, normally... You know, no, we we you no, we did not. No, we did not. What's that? Oh, yeah, well, yes, we have. No, we did. Yeah. No, you did not. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, for this year here. Yes, correct. But I'm saying, as I've been president, no, we picked new seats when, I, when we did the caucus. And, and you didn't sit in these seats in the council no, chambers. These are, but these are what was chosen. Okay, but I just don't call that sitting in the council chambers. Well, that's different. Okay, well, yeah, it is different. Yeah, maybe someday we'll sit there again. <laughs> I, have a, I have a very bad spot in my heart about this whole, whole situation because I'm the one that got cheated as being council president, to be truthful with you. To be truthful with you. So I have a whole sour grape about the whole elevator thing because administration knew this years ago about that elevator and no one picked up the pace and did anything about it. So. You call Mr. President, when I was president last year, it was the two, two months of my term at the end. We were up at the Ron Little Theater as well. So it's been going on a very long time. That's right. A very long time. Too long. Too long, as far as I'm concerned, and it's going to go on even longer. Any update yeah. relative to the budget, Mr. President, when I asked Mr. Kassir if he could modify and clean and paint a little of the council room and I, he would. I, I haven't heard anything more about the council room. I, I thought the clerk was working with the building inspector on that, but I don't know. I mean, where that's all at, I don't. It's in process, gentlemen. It's in the process. Thank, Thank you. The process. Thank you. And Mark Lindy told me that he was going to be in there doing the work due diligence when I saw him last week, and I told him he must, and I told him 
that, that as council president, the council is want it done. So thank you. Um, sorry that we got off to a little heated end, but um, I guess you know. In any case, president, just to clarify, the seventeenth will be uh, finance. Yes. And then we will not meet again until the twenty seventh. Correct. Is that correct. You are correct. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much. You are correct. And and then you jump into the new year. That's correct. Just as a reminder again, the, the members that sit on the uh, ordinance committee, uh, it will be the 18th, and it will be at 6 o'clock, and we'll be in the cafeteria again. Thank you. I have a late file, Mr. President. We do have a late file. Don't we have a late file? Yeah, we do have a uh, You have it, or I can read it right from it Yep, right here. Yep. <coughs> Communication from the Chief of Police Department requested. Sergeant Jose Lopo be promoted to the rank of permanent sergeant to the retirement of Sergeant Mark Celia and Officer Mark Reardon be promoted to temporary sergeant now being vacated by Sergeant Lobo. The appointment of Mark Reardon to the rank of temporary sergeant in the Parkton Police Department and the appointment of uh, Jose, promotion I'm sorry, of Jose Lobo to the rank of permanent sergeant in the Parkton Police Department. Okay, so we have really two yeah, late files. Two. Two late files in, in, in front of us, and they're being sponsored by Council Rodriguez, Rodriguez. And your motion is? Uh, m Mr. President, I'd like to, uh, to see if we can actually uh, suspend the rules and act on that uh, motion tonight. And the reason why I'm asking for this is just as Council Falwell had said, uh, this is just a formality, anyways. Um, and that it being done, I think we just be notified that this actually has taken place. Um, what happened? A, uh, a sergeant retired, uh, and it just followed the chronological order uh, right. upwards. So right. we can just ask, act on that tonight, if I could. And you have the appropriate paperwork for for both, anyways. Am I correct? Yes, you're correct. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna we can um, need to do them separately. Uh, can we do it all in? We could do it together. We could do it separately. Collectively, right? Second. Yeah. Motion been made and seconded. We're going to take I these. I think we have to uh, make a motion to accept the late file. I think we didn't do that, did we? Oh. Uh, I don't think we did. No, we didn't. No, he second to take an extension of rule eight. Uh, okay. I asked him yeah. to okay. motion okay. to accept the late file first. Okay. So we need we need the motion to motion accept, accept the late file. Second. Second. It all in favor of that. All opposed, now that we've accepted the late file, we're going to suspend the rules and act on them this evening. Um, will Madam Clerk, will you please call, call the roll? Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's eight in the affirmative. Are they collectively? Yes. They were collectively, yes. Yes, they were. And the orders were adopted. So the promotion of Mark Reardon to the rank of temporary sergeant in the Brockton Police Department and the appointment of, of Jose Lobo to the rank of permanent sergeant in the Brockton Police Department is what we have done this evening. So congrats to them. Congrats to them. Anything else? Any other? Council Lally. Yes, you may. I just wanted to announce that uh, I'll be having a Ward 6 ward meeting Wednesday, December 19th. 6:30 p.m. at the Ashfield Middle School. Um, you know, so I'll, okay. I'll be there. I just want to make sure everyone's aware. Of that. Santa Claus everyone's coming, right. cookies and. <laughs> I hope. Or? I've tried to be a good counselor, Mr. President. All right. Yeah, well, that well. reflects well, well on my Christmas he, gift. He's got a lot of new streets you can travel up there. You know a what I mean? A lot of public roads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, counselor. Holy problems. They still yeah. have ruts. Yeah. yeah. Well, we get, well, we get through them. Yeah. <laughs> Any other business to come before us? <laughs> Meetings adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>